If you guys out there follow my Instagram page, you know I recently bought a Sig Sauer P320 Compact in Flat Dark Earth. Now, I bought this gun with the intention of reviewing it as a carry gun. And to review it as a carry gun, I actually have to carry it for a while, so I had to try to find a holster. Now, I couldn't find a leather holster locally, so I had to resort to buying a Kydex holster. This is from K Rounds. It's actually a, not a bad holster, but, you know, I'm kind of used to leather. I've been a little spoiled by leather, and this one's given me a real pain. And I mean that literally. If you look right here at the sweat guard, it sticks up quite a bit beyond the gun. It's kind of pointed, you know, and it leans back from the gun a little bit. And it's really uh, poking at me, poking at me and my, I don't know what you want to call it, my lovable fluff or my love handles. Um, prostitutes like to call it the reason I have to pay extra. But, you know, I like to call it my little lovable fluff there. This is poking at me. Like I said, I'm kind of spoiled by leather holsters and this is really chewing on me. Now, I can either take this holster back and try to get a leather one or I can try to fix this one. And since I want a holster to carry it as soon as possible, I'm going to try to fix this one. You can kind of see right here where I've lined off where I'm going to cut it down to, reshape it a little bit and see if that makes it more comfortable. Maybe even try to push this in a little bit once I do. So let's take the gun out of it, set it aside here. I don't need to shoot myself while I'm trying to adjust my holster. And first, let's just cut that piece off. I'm just going to use a little hacksaw and take that right off there. Actually, instead of using my hacksaw, I decided to go an easier route that I can show here on camera. And this is for people who don't have a hacksaw or a rotary tool or anything, and they want to cut down their kydex, just use a pair of wire clippers like this. It works really well. Okay, once you've got it cut off, don't worry about getting the edges perfect. You're going to sand these down once you do that. A lot of people will try to heat these down. I like to sand them first, then take a little heat to them. Okay, now that I've got it sanded it the way I want it, I'm just going to take a little heat to the edge of it and just smooth it off. And there we go. If you hadn't watched me just do that, you would never know it's been done. So now I'm going to try it on and see if it's a little more comfortable. Okay, I've worn it around the house now for about an hour and it is so much better. Nowhere near as painful as it was before. It is still touching me just a little bit right here and that's because it leans back so far. I'm gonna to try to bend that in just a little bit, make it a little more comfortable. To do that, I'm just using my uh, trusty heat gun here. Uh, I definitely need a new one of these. This one has seen better days. Just keep getting it a little warm, bending it in just a little bit with my thumb. Doesn't take much. Okay, it is done. As you can see now, it holds in much tighter to the gun right here. Now, it's not sticking out like it was like this. And it much more follows the contour of the top of the gun right here without having this big pointy piece sticking up. You can see from this angle here, it just follows right up to the slide right here. Doesn't have that pokey piece that was a poke in me. Now, I'll just try it on, wear it around for about an hour and see if it's any more comfortable. Okay, in the interest of full disclosure here, I've actually been carrying this gun for about four or five days now since I filmed the first part of this video and it is far more comfortable. It's actually a nice, comfortable holster now. Just that little bit of alterations on it made a big difference. I really like these Kydex holsters. They're not as overall comfortable as a leather holster, but they're so much easier to draw from. They're so much easier to reholster, if that's actually a word. Just makes it a much more pleasurable experience if you actually have to use your gun because it's just so much easier. Now, in the beginning, they do put more initial wear on the gun than a leather holster. But in the long run, if you're going to carry a gun long term, I don't think there's that much of a difference. But, you know, if that really bothers you, you probably shouldn't be carrying a gun that wears very easily. Get yourself something stainless steel and you won't have to worry about it at all. So, like I say, I've been carrying this for four or five days now. And since I made those small changes to the holster, it's far more comfortable. Now, I open carried this for the second, for every second matters. And I want to say these uh, flat, dark earth guns tend to get more attention than black guns. I had more people ask me, what gun is that, than with any other gun I've ever open carried, including my Desert Eagle. In fact, I even had a police officer come up to me in the parking lot of Fred Myers and say, is that a SIG P320? And when I said it was, she said, boy, she really wished her department would start issuing these instead of the H&Ks they issue now. So if you're someone who's been thinking about moving to Kydex, but you just can't make the change because they're not as comfortable as leather holsters, well, I don't think they're ever going to be as comfortable as leather, but with a few small changes, you can make them a lot more comfortable for you. It's not a lot of work, and it's really easy to do. That's what Kydex was made for anyway. It's made to be reshaped. It's made to be changed a little bit to fit the individual user. So if you've got one, but it's just not quite right for you, maybe it's poking you in a special spot, 
do a little work to it, see if you can fix it, see if you can make it more comfortable for you because these Kydex holsters really are nice to use.